Let us take some time to find out why we must live according to the teachings of God and the Bible. Let us turn to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God Himself created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Here it is written, God said. In other words, it means God spoke His word, right? On the first day, God created light with His Word and separated the light from the darkness. His creation work continued on the second day, the third day, and so on. We can see the process of filling the earth with His Word one by one. Thus, we can say that the earth is God's creation, completely created by the Word of God. The life of fish is optimal when it is in the water. In the same way, since the earth is made of God's Word, it is optimized for God's Word. That is why God asked the people who live on this earth to never add anything to His Word or subtract anything from it. Let us see the words given in Genesis chapter 6. In chapter 6, verse 9, it is written, This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man. How was he? He was blameless. In other words, he was perfect. The expression, perfect, is not commonly used in the Bible. This man was described as perfect while living in the world made with God's Word. How could he become perfect? It is written, Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. It is hard to find the expressions where someone is described as perfect. Yet Noah was described as perfect. Perfect was the expression that followed him. It is written that he was perfect in his generations, and he walked faithfully with God. Let us move on to verse 13. So God said to Noah, I'm going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I'm surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood, make rooms in it, and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. Let's move on to verse 18. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you will enter the ark you and your sons, and your wife, and your sons' wives with you. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you, two of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal, and of every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you to be kept alive. You are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and stored away as food for you and for them. Noah did what? Everything, just as God commanded him. Since Noah did everything, just as God commanded him, what does the Bible say about him in chapter 6? He is described as perfect in his generations. Whatever God commanded him to do, Noah obeyed everything as it is. This was the faith he had. When Noah followed and obeyed the commands of God correctly, Noah and his family were saved. This is how eight people, including Noah, were able to receive the precious blessing of salvation.